So I hear 10 Belgian Green Berets, they gave their lives in Rwanda, Rwanda, the genocide, where the uh, millions of Negroes killed one million other Negroes. Um, so the Hutu killed the Tutsis, and the Tutsis, they are quite intelligent Africans. So it's always the same, Pharaoh wants to get rid of the intelligent people, it's always the intelligentsia gets murdered like Pol Pot did, Hitler did so, Stalin did so, they always did so in uh, Verdun. So 10 guys, 10 white slaves tried to save the, um, the black slaves actually. And here you can see the blue helmet of Pharaoh, the, uh, the blue crown of Pharaoh, the blue helmet of the United Nations. So I can tell you one thing, these guys didn't even have uh, cartridges. They didn't even have ammunition, because they say it's a peace force. So it even says in English here, it's the famous World War II dagger, United Conquer. It's the same as All for One, United We Conquer. So it's a Belgian regiment with an English title in it, from the Second World War. So, these guys, they gave their lives for nothing, you know. Be betrayed, it says Kigali. Uh, 1994 so Pharaoh killed them you know and they probably saw something too much you know like uh, the Swiss um, Nazi Templars of Octagon prob probably issuing all the um, the um, assault rifles from the uh, the first Gulf War which was in 1991 and so they couldn't live on these are all young kids you know like in their late twenties only. And these flowers, you know, they always grow on the battlefield. Probably because the ravens, they pick out the eyes. And then they still have got the seeds in their bellies, you know. And they shit on the, uh, the battlefield. Yeah, really stupid. So don't do, your, don't do the wars for Pharaoh. Don't do that. They're all geostrategical wars, they tried to get rid of the intelligent people. The, um, the Tutsi Negroids, they're really intelligent. You can see it on them, you know, they're really intelligent. So they can't live on. So they're dead. I'm still here, Pharaoh, Swissy, I'm still here, eh? So this is in Rochefort. They're still alive too. Well, you know, they, you let them put you in a uniform and then they can just send you anywhere they want. They have to obey the orders by law. And then you end up under a flag on a piece of cold marble. Don't do their wars for them. Rather go travel around, eh? And actually in France there's a lot of rumours that the son of uh, François Mitterrand, the uh, former president, his son Frédéric Mitterrand, he was very much uh, involved in the genocide. You know, handing out the weapons and... It's the enemy within, you know. So you can see, you know, black slaves. <laughs> you know, the, the white slaves die for you, you know, yeah. Ten young guys, they die, ten white slaves die for the white slaves, uh, the black slaves. Try to save the Tutsi, but they probably never, it was never the meaning that they would, be, you know, try to save them. They didn't even have bullets to do so. Of course, they don't say it here, but I know that. That's what they always do. They say it's a peace force. They don't give any bullets, no cartridges. Uh, Blue crown of Pharaoh, the war crown. There it is. And the head office is in Geneva, Switzerland, United Nations. It's a criminal organization for geostrategical wars, for genocides. So, 10 commandos, they got chopped up by machetes by the Hutus without having a single bullet in the chamber, a single round in the chamber to defend themselves. That's what they always do. 
And then they honor them here like uh, young kids, you know, in their 20s, who die for nothing, just die for Pharaoh on some strategic chess, chess board, you know, like the checkerboard configuration in a Freemason lodge. You die for the Freemasons and Pharaoh. Chopped up by machetes. Or go join the army and get your orders from the blue walk around a pharaoh. And why do you think they, they put this thing here in the three pharaonic colors, the three crowns, the red house, the white house and the blue walk crown? Why do you think they put it on a beer bottle, eh? The same thing you got on, in British airplanes, even Hitler has a cap on like this in the First World War. All these pharaonic things, it's all over. It's not without a meaning. Well, here you can see what it is. Oh, 